taken over the table. <laughs> so we know that as believers, we go through many transitions in life where we have to deal with things like self-esteem and yeah. understanding who we are and finding our place in life. What do you think? Well, I know growing up, I've always, you know, just had had that little, you know, you start to try to compare yourself to people oh, yes. and there, you know, you just, oh, yes. everybody have that little, that little thing. It took me becoming an adult for me to be like, oh, child, you got this, you know, yes. it took a minute, but I needed like real girlfriends though, mm. like, and I'm not talking about just like some, some random thing. I, I didn't find real friends until I really gained a, a relationship with Christ and that's when I started like really meeting people who poured into me and like we start we could glean off of each other and things like that. That's when I started to really gain true confidence and see my see myself because yes. like, so hello. You gotta have those people in your circle who yes. kinda add jewels to your crown. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of royalty and crowns, we have a special treat today. We have the reigning Miss Florida Plus, Alyssa Gibbs, that is going to be joining us at the table. Give her a hand, please. Thank you. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the table. So happy for you to join us here today. Could you please tell the good people a little bit about yourself? Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Alyssa Gibbs. I am the reigning Miss Florida Plus America 2019. Um, I am 18 years old. I attend Stranahan High School as a medical magnet student, and I am now a certified medical administrative assistant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Literally. Well, I wanted to do something different. Um, other than pageantry, I am a plus size professional model. And before that, I never seen myself doing anything like this. Like, I was like, no. No. <laughs> and so what ended up happening is through dreams, I was like, I see myself on a platform. I just don't know what it is. And I was really taken back. I was like, oh no, I'm scared. But something, a little voice, which I feel was God's voice, was telling me, Alyssa, I'm calling you to inspire. This is, this is you. So what ended up happening was, he opened the doors for me to do modeling first. It took me 10 million no's to get one yes. <laughs> now, now, yes, you know, we all have a story of the bullying and, and that was my story. And it didn't break me. It built me to where I wanted to be now and for where I want to go in the future. So, you know, that was the first pageant I did was a modeling pageant, you know, competition, and I didn't win. You know, it was it was a very sad moment for me, but I was like, you know what, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. So let me go back. Did it again, still gotta know. But there were people out in the audience that were like, Oh my god, you are such an inspiration. Oh my gosh, I want you to work for me. Oh my gosh, I want you to and that's what really started my modeling career. Now, I have and a question. Then, uh, I have a question. Now, with these no's, mm -hmm. did it ever start to to make you, because you're still, you're still young, you know, but right. did it ever cause, did it ever take a hit to your self-esteem or anything like that, or have you always just been this confident? Um, it did hit me, but my self-esteem, it did. But I didn't let, again, I didn't let it break me. Because all I had to do is I just, told myself, it's okay. Because again, it takes 10 no's to get one yes. And where, did, where would you say the inspiration for your confidence? Like, where, would, where do you get that confidence from? From other people. People and, like who? Um, people like myself who 
other people have the perception of, oh yeah, she's got everything. She's got it all. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> and I feel like I find inspiration through other people because they, even though I inspire them, they inspire me. So. Um, my platform is Ladies of Poise, where, which I started in my high school, where I inspire young girls to go out and inspire other people. Through acts of kindness, through, you know, how, how do they inspire others? I mean, we sit down, we have conversations about what's going on in school, we empower each other, and I empower them to be their better selves. I do workshops with them, and then they go out, gather more people, and they inspire those people. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Really great. So, when you, you're 18. Yes. You have a lot of life yes. in front of you. Yes. Um, what would you tell your 25-year-old self? Be ready. Oh. Be ready. Because the best is yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I think um, what our queen has shown us today is that positivity and Self-confidence is what helps propel people into that next phase as we go through these transitions that we talked about as young people. It takes it takes that belief in yourself to know that you can and you will make it through whatever the circumstances are. And even if you do get a no, mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah. Because that no mm -hmm. is gonna might lead to another no. Mm -hmm. But eventually a yes is around the corner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Oh, Come on, delay is not denied. Yeah. Yes, can I get a yes queen for the table? Yes, yes queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Okay. Yes. yes. So that's all for the ladies. Um, for the ladies' table. Um, coming up, we are going to have a relationship. Yes. Segment. Stay with us. Um. When we come back, my husband, Reginald, is going to join us along with the amazing Tim and Linda Lightburn. And we're going to talk about marriage, singleness, engagement, finding the perfect one for you, all that. So, you know, stay with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.